All right, so the question is, what is the density of toothpaste? All right, to answer this question, I'm going to look at a box of toothpaste. All right, this is just a little sample box that you get from the dentist. And on the back, you'll notice there's a couple of uh, useful values. All right, we have the sodium fluoride content as 0.24%. Okay, so the uh, sodium fluoride, which is NaF, um, its concentration is 0.24%. All right, and uh, the it also has a line here saying 0.14% weight volume fluoride ion. All right, so fluoride ion is 0.14% weight volume. All right. So this one uh, didn't specify whether it was weight volume uh, or what. So we assume that it is weight, weight. Okay. That is the uh, standard form for percent, the mass percent. So if it's not specified, we generally assume that it is uh, mass percent. All right. So now we want to find density. Okay. So what is uh, density? What are the units of density? Okay. Density is mass over volume. So we need mass units and volume units for the paste. Okay. Now, if we uh, take these values that we're given here um, and uh, convert them to, you know, just expand this out a little bit. Uh, it'll make things a little bit clear as to how we're going to get density out of this. Okay, so let's, uh, let's look at this. This 0.24% weight, weight for NAF means I have 0.24% grams, that's the weight, of, uh, of NAF per cent, so per 100 grams of the paste. Okay, so that's one bit of information now. It's a little bit more uh, clear. I think we'll be able to do something with this. Okay, and then the uh, same we can do for the fluoride ion. We can rewrite this as 0.14 grams of the fluoride per cent, so per 100, this time milliliters, since it's volume. 100 milliliters of the paste. Okay. Uh, normally in solution chemistry, we talk about grams of solute per grams of the solution. Okay, well in this case the solution is the paste. So here's the solute, here's the solution. All right, so now you'll notice we have grams of paste and milliliters of paste. Well guess what? Density is mass over volume, grams over milliliters. So what we need to do is get these grams over those milliliters and we're going to need to cancel out the grams of the solute. Okay, um, I'm going to start with this one as opposed to this one because I already have my volume, my milliliters of paste on the bottom. So I need to get this grams of fluoride into grams of paste. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take this fluoride ion convert it to moles of fluoride, right? That's uh, not challenging. We can do that using the periodic table. From there, I know that is going to be the number of moles of sodium fluoride that will produce that many moles. So those, are, those will be equal. And then I can convert to grams of sodium fluoride that uh, produces this many grams of the fluoride ion, okay, when it's in solution. And then with that, then I can use this value to go from grams of sodium fluoride to grams of the paste, 
Okay, so that is the um, general map that we're going to follow to uh, to work this problem. So let's go ahead and set it up. All right, here we have uh, 0.14 grams of fluoride per 100 grams of paste. We want to convert this to uh, moles of fluoride. And to do that, we need to know the molar mass of the fluoride ion. Okay. Now, being an ion, that just means it has one extra electron, which is uh, quite insignificant. So we can ignore that part of it and just look at the mass of fluorine, uh, which is 18.9984. Okay. 9984. So here we can say this is um, 18.9984 grams of fluoride to one mole of fluoride. All right. So here my fluoride cancel, that's why I've put this on the bottom. And now I'll have moles of fluoride. Well, that's uh, equal to the moles of sodium fluoride because there's a one-to-one -one ratio. One mole of fluoride to one mole of sodium fluoride. Okay, so let's now Again, uh, we need the periodic table to convert this into grams of sodium fluoride. We need to find the molar mass. And we saw fluorine. And now here is sodium, 22.9898. And we have, oop, get that focused. Uh, so we'll have 22.9898 plus 18.9984. All right, you probably don't need this uh, level of precision, to be honest, because we only have two significant figures up there. Uh, but we'll go ahead and, um, well, let's just uh, round this off to uh, 0.99 and uh, this will be 19.00, okay? So that'll make it easier uh, to do in our head. That'll be uh, 19 and uh, 23, and so we'll have um, 40, uh, 41.99, okay? Since that's uh, there, so this will be 41.99, grams of sodium fluoride to one mole of sodium fluoride. And there's our moles cancel again. We put it on the opposite side so that um, the moles will uh, cancel. We're always looking to uh, cancel our units. All right, so now we have grams of sodium fluoride and we know how many grams there are per gram of the paste. 0.24 grams per 100 grams of paste. So we can put that on the bottom. 0.24 grams of sodium fluoride to 100 grams of the paste. Now those cancel. And what I'll have is grams of paste. Everything else cancels. But volume of paste, grams per milliliter of the paste, which is density. So let's go ahead and put this in the calculator. And we end up with 1.29 uh, grams per milliliter. Okay, that is the density of the toothpaste, and if I keep my uh, significant figures, that'd be 1.3 grams per milliliter. There you go.